Well, Bill, as you mentioned, at last check uh, for co-ops outage map, there are just over 9,700 people still without power, and a good lot of them are in Lunenburg and Dinwiddie counties. And this afternoon, some of those from Lunenburg came out to headquarters to express their displeasure with about how the restoration efforts have been going. In pouring rain and near freezing temperatures, around a half dozen people protested outside the headquarters of Southside Electric Cooperative Monday. It just seems that they lost the ball somehow. Taking issue with the ongoing power outages as a result of two winter storms. Oh, it's still 10 days without power. All CBS 6 spoke to are from Lunenburg County and either just got back power or are still without it. We went and got a hotel so we can go in there now and then and um, get clean, but we have animals at home that we have to take care of. The complaints range from those saying they haven't seen work crews in their neighborhood yet. Where's everybody at? We need our power back on. People are suffering. To the co-op's preparation for the storms. I think they failed us in not replacing old poles you know, on cross arms, and I think they could do a little bit better, and I hope they do in the future. Asked about the protest, SEC's Vice President Ronald White says the co-op is focused on restoring power to all of its members. We did pre-staging pre and the acquisition of mutual aid crews days before the storm even arrived to our area. Monday, the cooperative said another 23 crews joined its restoration efforts, bringing the workforce to over 900 people. White says they'll keep bringing crews on until the power is restored, and the current target is to do that for 99.9% .9 of its members by the weekend. The only foreseeable hurdle is more bad weather, which has been hampering the work they've had to do, adding in some cases, crews have to be towed into some sites needing repairs. And then that bulldog those or a farm tractor has to tow them out because the ground is so saturated, even four-wheel drive vehicles get bogged down. And in the last 30 minutes, the co-op's president put out a statement about the restoration effort, saying in part that his heart breaks for those still without power and they're working to uh, restore it as quickly as possible as safety allows. And he adds, quote, we know there are issues that need to be addressed and discussed with our members. We will have a frank and transparent discussion as soon as the lights are back on. Thank you for your patience and prayers for the safety of our line crew, end quote. Working for you in crew, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.